Hey guys, Jenna here. Welcome to my channel where I feature alternative home tours. In Sedona, Arizona, there is one home that has been turning heads for decades. Some describe it as looking like a dozen giant eggs, while others think it has a more futuristic or sci-fi aesthetic. Today we're stepping inside the Sedona Dome home. We interviewed the current owners as well as the original builder to describe what it's like living inside of a dome and why they enjoy sharing it with others. This house spoke to me from the beginning because I never was interested in a traditional home. I was always looking for something that was unique. When you think about architecture through the ages, this is a very old shape of architecture, a rounded building. And yet also it's very modern. We always thought that was a smart way to build. And so if we ever had a forever home, we always thought a monolithic dome would be a very cool way to do it. I see a house potentially like a sculpture that you get to live in. And so I think it's important to have an environment that really brings out the best in you, that can create a sanctuary. I wanted to show people that there, there was an alternative way of living. And they don't have to live in a square box. You look up at the corners in your room that you're sitting in and what use are they? you know, uh, for spiders, maybe. In a dome house, everything is so smooth and it's, it's so comfortable on your mind. And it makes you feel different. And when I tell people that, most of them don't believe me, but all I gotta do is step inside of one of these buildings once and you feel it. The original idea behind this home was built as a home of the future. It was open to the public. More than 800 people at a time would come each day to see this house and how it was constructed, to be inspired, to maybe break some boundaries about how homes can be built more efficiently and also more economically. You can build houses like this for less than half of a normal house. And they have insulation factors of R85. It stays cool in here. It's something like living in a cave down under the ground. The amount of money you would save on building a house like this, you could heat and cool it the rest of your life. What makes this construction interesting, opposed to any other type of construction, they come in and they bolt down these giant balloons and fill them with air. Once the balloons are fully inflated, they spray high density foam, three to six inches, all the way around until it hardens. Then they come back in and they tie rebar grids, 10 inch grids all the way around, giving it structure and then they spray the concrete on the interior. Very interesting to build. I mean, when we was building it, we had people coming here and standing around just watching us do it. They were amazed. In the morning there was nothing here, but after about an hour, these big balloons are coming up. On the outside, the exterior, it looks like a parachute. You can see the seams of how the airform was pieced together and sewn together. I love that hand-built look of it. There's just two of us. We had a lot of space, and it was more space than we needed. When we first walked into this dome home, we immediately knew that this would make a great Airbnb. We had plenty of space to carve out a wonderful house within a house. So here we have dome number one. One of the most fascinating aspects to these domes is that they're connected one to another in a circle, allowing for a continuous space. This dome here is the largest dome with a height of 32 feet. I've always been interested in alternative construction. I wanted to have something unique, open, and something that didn't constrict me. So now we're up in the loft. You can see lightly the grid pattern of the rebar showing as it goes round and around and around like a beehive. 
One of the things that brings great joy to Laura and myself is being able to host people and have people in our home. This home is too large for just us two. It's about 6,000 square feet. But what we do have is plenty of sleeping quarters for people to come and spend time with us. We have single beds, we have king size beds, we have full size beds, and we have queen beds. In addition, we have other sleeping quarters available that can be converted for more people. So as we move from dome to dome, you'll see this beautiful arch as it merges from one dome to the next. And now we're entering in to dome number two. This is the great room. It's about 30 feet in diameter. It gives us this tremendous amount of natural light because it has the big, huge five skylights, both on the ceiling and on the walls to allow us to be bathed in natural light. So I wanted to share with you the acoustics of the space. One of the interesting aspects to these domes, you may even hear it as I speak, it's the acoustics. We have two functions that are happening within these domes. When you build a structure that comes to a point, it creates what's called a focal effect, where the sound beams down at the very center. In our domes, as you walk across the center, all of a sudden you'll feel the power of the acoustics pounding down upon you. At the same time, there's what's called the whisper effect on the exterior of the room, which is bouncing around and around and around the room, giving this a magical auditorium type of sound. And one of the fun things about this home is how we've been able to find specific furniture that seems to really fit the vibe. Here we have this really unique chair, but it also reclines, so you can go to the position of using it as a recliner. Here we're sitting in our sunken living room and it gives us some feeling of texture, some feeling of, of sharing space where we can get together on a personal level. This originally was a pond with a fountain in the background. When we bought the home, I immediately tore out the fountain, the stones, everything that was around this area and built this stage over that space. With that, I added this large eight foot long fireplace. I added cabinets and I built it in so I could grab a hold of the curvature of the wall, but also the concave of the wall. So we were able to come up with something that was uniquely interesting, that was as important as the original fountain and it really added value to the home and really gave us more of an ambiance to the space. The longer we live here, we're finding that there's a unique effect that happens. There's something about living in a room with no flat walls. I don't know what it is about human consciousness and how that works, but if you look back into the earliest days of indigenous societies, they built round structures. There's something about this kind of space that affects the brain, a peacefulness, a sacredness. We feel very fortunate to have three and a half acres right here next to the village of Sedona. And now this courtyard, which adds a whole nother dimension to the home by the fact that we are surrounded in this beautiful circle of domes, which allows my wife and I to be on one side and for our guests to be on the other. Here in this courtyard, we have a beautiful fire pit which guests use and sometimes we join them in the evening to look at the stars and have conversation. Welcome to our standing stones, what we like to think of it as dome hinge. The concept here is, is that we have 10 standing stones in a circle. They're 10 feet apart. It's my understanding that Stonehenge is also divisible by 10. So I wanted to follow that mathematics. The original idea when you build these kind of circles is you're looking for orientations to certain solstice events, certain astronomical events. But in this case, we went with geometry instead. So now what we have is this beautiful 32 foot circle and now it's ready for the next stage. We wanna put in a labyrinth, but not a traditional labyrinth with rocks and stones. We, don't, we wanna have a plaza, we don't wanna have things to trip on. So we're gonna be doing an embedded labyrinth that matches the circumference of this circle. And this is the final step to really bring this whole thing alive. We wanna have a place for people to do yoga and other types of stretching and exercise activities. 
part of our mission is to little by little make this house a green home and adding more and more technology that works with the environment. In this case, we've added 27 solar panels. In addition to the 27 solar panels, we also installed a house battery so that we can be as efficient as possible during peak hours of the day. Winston Churchill said, we shape our buildings and then they shape us. There seems to be this catch-all term nowadays that you see people referring to that they're looking for their forever home. And this home has provided that for us. People need to really experience this to truly understand the domes. We love that when people walk in and they've got this, the big smiles and they're looking around and they've got that aha moment because that kind of joy helps us relive our first moment of walking into this space mm. and just the magic of it. Thanks for watching this week's tour. Make sure to check back soon for another alternative home tour. And in the meantime, check out my playlist for some of the most unique spaces around the world.